actually kind of tastes like cottage she cheese. She just ate a full <laughs> spoonful. A just full a spoon. shovel. Look at just it. Just shovel. A shovel. <laughs> was it full? Was it full? Was the spoon full? It was a spoonful. Get a chunk of that. You gotta save some. I'm gonna make some bagel sandwiches this morning. Oh, oh, okay. it's like fresh. Yeah. Just a bite. Mm hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Good moment. Happy Fudge in Wednesday. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry. It's your <laughs> thing. Do you want to schedule the moving track today? Ooh. Mm hmm. Making a bagel sandwich with egg and brisket. Remember when that company said you weren't wholesome? Yeah, well, you know. Damn, what did you do? It doesn't hurt my feelings at all. I'm not wholesome, because I swear. I love bagels and I love brisket. That's what you want. Good bark, good color, way to go grip. If you're at a restaurant ordering brisket and they ask you, do you want lean or fatty? Get up and leave. Uh oh. That ain't good. <laughs> that was the grind setting that was good for the previous beans, but these just these ones are different. Super, super over extracted. Yeah, so you can see like how oily that is on the inside there. It's just, well, the end of the world, just gotta loosen up that grind a little bit. Do it again. I did my first coffee machine when I got it. I must have put like four pounds of beans through it, just plowing through beans. And like when you're getting like good stuff, I mean, you're looking like 20 bucks a pound. And it was just so bad. Every shot was just like battery acid. And I finally went into the roaster and I was like, guys, what's up? Like, what am I doing wrong here? Because I can't drink anything. And they were like, what are you dosing? I was like, I don't know, 18 grams? Like, try 17. And I was like, yeah, thanks, buddy. Went home, changed the dose, boom, perfect. I was like, okay. Espresso is sensitive. Let's do it again. Damn it. Usually like this, this wheel is just super sensitive. Like the tiniest little twist would be a drastic change. But this needs like a lot of change. I mean, we're already at 40 seconds. Nothing? Okay. So you see how like it's sped up. It's a better pour, but it's still, it's going to be over extracted. It is still good. Like I won't throw that one out. It's still good enough to drink. Open it up and see. Do you know what it is? Yeah. Alright, what is it? You, it that ruins the fun. It's packing materials! <laughs> Yay! Get all the other fun stuff. Packing tape. Oh. And, I mean. Presents! That's a good box. That's a, go that's a great box. We're, We're gonna hold that on box. to that box. I also ordered boxes that will be delivered in a box. I think I ordered 12. We got a baker's dozen. Do we keep the bubble wrap? Because I also ordered bubble wrap. Yeah, oh, hey, have we told you? Uh, we're moving. We're moving. Hey. Testing a recipe for street Brussels. I gotta come up with a better name for that, but it's basically like Mexican street corn with Brussels sprouts. We're gonna see how it goes. Watch your fingies. Little baby cabbage nuggets. Bro. It's 
not it doesn't kidding. matter. It looks like it. It actually tastes more like cottage cheese than anything. That's disgusting. Okay, so this is the life of a of a cook. Dude, you gotta taste it. Yeah. So I you put it on something. I mean, it looks really gross. I don't think I'm gonna use it, but it's sour cream, lime juice, chili powder, and cotilla cheese. And it's just lumpy in it. It looks and actually kind of tastes like cottage she cheese. She just ate a full <laughs> spoonful. A full just a shovel. Spoon. Look at just it. Just shovel. A shovel. Was it full? <laughs> was it full? Was the spoon full? It was a spoonful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you telling me about this. Mmm. No, it's mine. Well, come on. All right. Let's work out. What a good day. What a good day. <laughs> Sammy's worst nightmare. She finds out she has a sun allergy. A sun allergy. She broke out in like a rash or hives when we were down in Mexico. I've never seen someone so heartbroken. Terrible. We're, we're used to that New England sun. Yeah. Not that. Mexico sun is. Harsh. Mexico sun is much, much different. Turns out the equator, no joke. No, I mean, it's still okay to come up on your toes yeah. as long as it's with the follow through and not like, like you're, you're still driving out of your legs and like you see the people start bending their arms and they're jumping from this position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you jump from here yeah. and then your follow through is up on your toes, that's fine. But it was just on that one snatch that I said something. The first thing you did, hold your shoulders. So the bar had to come out around your knees. Mm -hmm. oh. gotcha. Do you know that Dwight was in every episode of The Office? He's the only character in every episode. I used to host bar trivia. Mm -hmm. I have sheets of bar trivia we could go through. I created, I created many documents in every round. There was like a different theme. 90s movie, Mr. Bean, all things. Wait, so you would make up the questions? And then host that bar. Mm -hmm. Wait, I thought it was like a kit that you bought and you were just the host. I don't know, this is also like the error, like, it's Before like when people would be like, oh, do you remember having to write a paper using an encyclopedia? It was like, that was probably the era of bar trivia that I was in where I made all of the questions. It's very prominent eyes is what they're called. Another term for it would be bug eyes. We watched that video. <laughs> and Sammy was in the passenger seat. I was driving. Someone who was recording was in the back. And Sammy like was turning 90 degrees to talk to him. So she saw the profile of her face. And she turned to me just mortified. Are my eyes that big? <laughs> I was like, yeah, Sammy, you're 30 years old. How did you not know this? I only ever see myself from face on. You know, you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, good for you. Have a good day, whatever it is. I never like to see myself from the side view. <laughs> Turns out my eyes stick out of my head. Well, it's like when we watched the 2015 movie. <laughs> yeah. But Tony Sam was like, was I that fat? She's like, yeah, you've always been that size. No one told me? She's like, I thought you knew. <laughs> no, I didn't know. know. I know there was something that you didn't know about your <laughs> Now we tell each other things. Brush your beard. You're starting to smell. You're starting Don't to smell. Okay. okay, so Matt is like a superhuman. He does not smell. When he was training six hours a day, the toxins were just continually leaving his body. I, think that I was never, sweating so much. He sweat so much that you were just like pure. Never wore deodorant and never smelled. So when then he would stop training for like after the games or vacations or whatever, a couple days would go by and I'd be like, honey, pull deodorant up. <laughs> I got you. I'm not gonna let you be the smelly kid in class. What are you about to do? I think 15 GHDs one minute, 15 total bar the other. How long? Like an hour? For how long? <laughs> I like 10 minutes. Yeah. There's like four or five boxes. 
Is that wholesome, Sammy? Day yum. <laughs> Day yum. Oh. oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Sammy. So excited. Did you just, did you find a winner? I did. Yup. So. That is good looking. That is. Ooh. And then there's a black one. Woo! I mean, come on. My leather guy did the little stamp. All the pockets. Distress. Distress. <laughs> now I'm just gonna cook dinner and clean up a little bit. Cause there's always a mess to clean. And carnitas. <laughs> just kinda winging it. I have a handful of the ingredients from a recipe that I've shared before, but I'm also missing some others. So we're just gonna add, add a few extra things. Yeah, so Matt is on a Zoom call right now with participants from his HWPO programming, which is super cool. So the weeks of the open, he is going to set up Zoom calls to chat with everybody, That's in, anybody that's interested anyways. And this, I think, was just like a, hey, welcome to the program. If you have any questions, like I'm gonna go through and talk to the people that have signed up for it and just share exactly what my intent is for the programming, what you can expect. And we're just out here, this is like, an oddly beautiful day. What movie is it, Miss Congeniality, where they like, describe your perfect date? And she was like, May 24th. Oh yeah. Because it's not too cold, and all you need is a light jacket. And you're like, okay, thank you very much. <laughs> I forget the actual date, we'll have to look it up. Yeah. Fact check. Fact check. The most annoying, pretentious, and useless business jargon. Yeah. I'm gonna give you the 30,000 foot view of this pie in the sky idea. Just circle the wagons, we're gonna run it up the flagpole and just really hone in on this revolutionary idea. Like really trying to hone in. I am oh office God. ready. Yeah, let's just have a bit, uh, an interview right now. So what would you say is your worst quality? Well, my worst quality is actually my best quality. I care too much, I work too hard. What else does Michael Scott say? <laughs> oh, I've got one for you. It's a, like a small riddle. <clears throat> you've got two, co two coins. Okay, you've got two coins that equal 30 cents. One of them is not a nickel. Which one? What are your coins? Wait, two coins. That equal 30 cents. One of them is not a nickel. The other one's a nickel. Damn it, that was so fast. We stumped Matt's parents with that one really? last week. Yeah. Hit us with your best riddles. We love riddles. <laughs> I mean, we love to hate them, but we love them. They're, they're honestly just as hard to remember the riddle as they are to answer them. Matt is really good at riddles. We do a lot of would you rathers. Would you rather sneeze every time you blinked or farted every time you sneezed? Yes. Kind of happens already anyways. <laughs> I mean, come on, I think it does happen to everybody. For sure. I have this like vivid memory from my childhood. I had a sleepover with one of my, my best friends growing up and it was like, when you're young and you're, you know, like staying up past midnight, you know, and you're like in seventh grade and you're like, this is wild, it's so late. You get like slap happy, even now. It's like, if it's 11 o'clock, I get like the giggles right before bed. And my sister-in-law calls it giggle disease. You got GD. I don't know. We were young and we were staying up past midnight, and she had did she she had said something, and it was just so funny that you know you have that friend that like when you look at each other you just start laughing about it doesn't even matter what it is, and so she starts laughing and then it makes me start laughing and we're looking at each other just laughing and she started farting and I swear to God it sounded like a machine gun. <laughs> It wasn't the right noise. I don't know how to make fart noises with my mouth. It's not a skill I ever perfect. <laughs> and so it just makes you laugh that much harder. And it's literally one of those childhood memories that I'm like, I will never forget my friend like looking at her in the eye and laughing. <laughs> and she's just farting. And you can't help but laugh even harder. <laughs> like farting is still funny. We will leave her anonymous okay, okay. so she's not harassed about her machine gun farts in the seventh grade. Everybody's got good fart stories. <laughs> if you're not crisping your pork, you're missing out. 
carnitas, some fried tortillas with some cheese, some street brussels. Gonna learn today. Chico, honey. Looks so good. Thank you. Mm. Cheese. Got you. Mm. Got you with that sneaky cheese. Good. 